Here we're going to look at how to use the algebraic division method given in, given in Vedic mathematics to develop power series and also to um, answer a couple of A-level exam questions in um, double quick time, um, gaining lots of marks very easily. Um, now the power series uh, works by reversing the powers in the uh, division. Uh, method um, before uh, in the previous video it was shown how to uh, divide um, a, a descending power series really and here we are going to reverse uh, reverse everything so I'm going to start with a simple fraction 1 over 1 plus x and uh, so our divisor is 1 plus x and the dividend is one and we're going to add terms here we're going to have 0x plus 0x squared plus 0x cubed and so on and we proceed exactly as uh, was described previously so we transpose this plus x into a minus x and divide 1 into 1 which is 1 and then multiply 1 by minus 1x is minus 1x we add up uh, the second column and divide by 1. So this gives minus 1x. And then multiply, we get plus 1x squared. Here I'm just writing the coefficients only. Um, add up and divide by 1, we get plus x squared. And then multiply, we get minus 1x cubed. Add up and divide by 1, we get minus 1x cubed and so on. And so we get this, this pattern. We can also look at this example, 1 divided by 1 minus x. And we set it up like this again. Here we transpose the minus x to a plus x. 1 divided into 1 is 1. And then we get 1 times 1x is plus 1x. Add up and divide by 1, we get plus x. x times x is plus 1x squared. Add up and divide by x, and we get, uh, uh, divide by 1, sorry, and we get x squared. And likewise, we get x cubed, and so on. We have a look at uh, an example um, numerically. Let us say that uh, x is equal to 0 0.1. Then our division is 1 divided by 0 0.9. Uh, multiplying top and bottom by 10, we get 10 over 9, which is 1 and 1 ninth. And if we put x is uh, 0.1 into the power series here, we get 1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 and the result is that 1 and 1 ninth is in decimals 1.11111 1 1.1 1 .1 recurring now let's have a look at uh, an exam question this is from uh, C4 paper A-level maths which is the top standard at the end of school mathematics required for university entrance. And <clears throat> I've got an example here somewhere. Um, and I'm going to use uh, a couple of other Vedic techniques as well. This question appeared in 2010 uh, of June and gave this fraction 2x squared plus 5x minus 10 uh, all over x minus 1 times x plus 2 and the first task was to um, in part A of the question was to express this in um, partial fractions as a plus b over x minus 1 plus c 
over x plus 2. And this part of the question was worth uh, 3 marks. <coughs> On looking at the 2x squared here and the x times x here, giving x squared, it should be fairly obvious that a is equal to 2. So that we can do that just by inspection. The Vedic method um, for finding the values of b and c is uh, uh, conventionally known as the cover-up method. And um, the Vedic Sutra for this is Lopanasthapanabhyam, which in English means by elimination and retention. Um, we're searching for the value of b uh, in this fraction, and we cover up this denominator and evaluate the rest of the fraction with x equals 1. Uh, the idea is to find a value of x which makes this equal to 0. So we cover it up and put x is 1 into here, and we get 2 plus 5 minus 10, which is minus 3, divided by 3, which is minus 1. And so b equals minus 1. For the value of c, we um, find a value of x which makes this equal to 0, namely minus 2, and cover it up and evaluate the remaining fraction with x is minus 2, from which we get c equals 4. And so uh, we can say that this fraction is equal to uh, 2 minus 1 over x minus 1 plus 4 over x plus 2. Part B of the question carries seven marks. And part B of the question is to express uh, this as a uh, power series. And the conventional method uh, takes these partial fractions and expresses them like this. as minus x minus 1 to the power of minus 1 plus 4 times x plus 2 to the power of minus 1, then um, the student is expected to apply the binomial expansion for this part, the binomial expansion for this part, then to add everything up. <clears throat> the Wavic method, however, is very much more quick and easy. Um, we multiply these brackets together and then just divide it into uh, this fraction. So the fraction is 2x squared plus 5x minus 10 <coughs> all over x squared plus x minus 2. And for the power series, we're going to uh, put this back to front. And to avoid the um, awkwardness of the minus signs here, I'm going to first multiply everything by minus 1, top and bottom. So we get minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 10 over minus x squared minus x plus 2. And then we can set up the division like this, 2 minus x minus x squared divided into 10 minus 5x minus 2x squared. <coughs> and the question requires us to uh, express this fraction as a power series in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x squared. So we're now going to apply the division method and get the answer very easily and quickly. Uh, transpose these two terms, we get plus 1x plus 1x squared. 2 into 10 goes 5. 5 times 1 is plus 5. x. 5 times 1x squared is plus 5 x squared. Add up and divide by 2, well this is just 0x. And then multiply by these two, we get a 0 and a 0. And then we add up and divide by 2, so that's 3x squared divided by 2 is plus 3 over 2x squared. And the job is then done. <coughs>
another part B of an exam question was uh, fairly similar, which was to use the, by any method, find the result of this fraction, 3x squared plus 16 over 1 minus 3x times 2 plus x squared. And the conventional method is to first uh, separate it out into partial fractions. Uh, there'll be three fractions because of this squared term. And then to use the binomial formula to expand all three of those and then add them up. But the Vedic system would suggest that we can just multiply this out and then um, divide it straight into 3x squared plus 16. And that is a seven mark question. So to multiply uh, these uh, three terms together, we've got 2 plus x squared gives 4 plus 4x plus x squared. And we're then going to multiply this by the 1 minus 3x, giving 1 minus 3x here. And an easy method of multiplication is the Vedic vertically and, vertically and crosswise method, which works like this. 4 times 1 is 4. Terms in x will be 4x minus 12x, which gives minus 8x. Terms in x squared gives 1x squared minus 12x squared is minus 11x squared. And then there's just one term in x cubed from here is minus 3x cubed. I'm then going to divide this, let's just write it out a little bit smaller, 4 minus 8x minus 11x squared minus 3x cubed. I'm going to divide it into 16 plus 0x plus 3x squared plus 0x cubed. This time we have to get the power series up to and including terms in x cubed. <coughs> so this uh, dividend here has come from the numerator. There's no x term and hence uh, the 0x here. So to start we just transpose all the terms. I'm just going to use the coefficients rather than writing out all these uh, x, num x terms. And do the division like this. 4 divided into 16 goes 4. And then multiply this 4 by each of these three terms, giving 32, 44, and 12. We then add up this second column and divide by 4, giving plus 8x. Then multiply. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 11 goes here. 8 times 3 is 24, but uh, we don't need any more uh, the term in x to the fourth, so we needn't bother with that. We then add these numbers up and divide by 4, and we get um, let's see, 111 divided by 4, x squared. Then get a multiply, we get 111 times 8 is 888, divided by 4 is 222 x cubed. We don't need uh, any, any more than that. And then on adding up these terms and dividing by 4, we land up with um, I think it's 80 and a half x cubed. And that's all the working out there is to do on that question. And this is worth 7 marks. Um, and once you've got practice of this um, method of division, you'll be able to answer this question in round about three minutes, which is less than half uh, the time that you are allowed in the exam to answer it.